Lamin do Adama Dodo Barkindo Aliu Mustafa, who view the Placo Radio as a platform for reinvigorating the rich cultural heritage of the Fulbin, congratulated the Board of Trustees and Directors on their well deserved appointment. He charged them to use the radio station to meet the yearnings of people by disseminating programs in full full day dialect to serve as a bridge to the digital cultural world. Governor Abdullahi Ganduje of Kano State, who is also a member of the Board of Trustees, observed that the full full day is gradually fading, stressing that the vision to establish the medium by the Lamido will leave a lasting legacy for the present and future generation. Highly fascinated. I'm really you know, motivated because the equipment are modern, ultra modern equipment. I believe this is the latest equipment that is heavy. So with a good board of directors and management, we believe this radio station will be a force to recognize in Nigeria. So I sincerely congratulate David Adama for being the founder of this uh, capital club FM radio station here in Yola. Deputy Governor Martins Babale, who assured the royal father of the state government's support at all times, say the establishment of the radio station will go a long way in promoting peace, stability and growth of the full bay cultural heritage. The Emir of Mubi, Alaji Abubakar Isa Amadu, who is also one of the Board of Trustees, said the members comprise of communication scholars and broadcasters that will not let the people down. An elder statesman, Alaji Ahmed Joda, said the station will not only adopt and ensure that Fruitful Day does not face extinction but promote good deeds over the evil. Chairman, Board of Directors, Professor Umar Pate, said the radio station will work to prepare critical minds to discuss critical issues on the prospects and challenges of the Nigerian society. He assured Amido that the station will be guided by objectivity and credibility to achieve its mission. Nuhu Maunde, 26 News.